In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to filter dates in Google Sheets. Now, if you want to play along, and I encourage that you do, there is a copy of the starter sheet in the link in the description below. Pause the video now, make a copy, and when you're ready to come back, hit play again. Okay, you're back. Let's get started. So the easiest way to create a filter in Google Sheets is by using a cell reference. So let's get cracking with this cell reference. So we will say filter, and then we're going to select our range. So over on the left hand side here, I have a range with a name and a date. You can have other column values as well, but we want to keep this simple for you for the process here. And we want to display both the name and the date in our filter. So I'm going to select from A to across to B and then all the way down to B94 and hit comma. So what condition are we going to use here? So our date condition is going to be this column B here. So let's create the B2 to B94. And we want it to make it equal to this date in cell D5 here. And close the brackets and see the magic. Cool. So we've got one, two, three, four, five people with this particular date here. And we can probably find somewhere around here. Awesome. What if we want to put everything inside our entire formula? Well, with dates, it gets a little bit tricky. So intuitively, you might expect to do something like this. So I'm going to just go over here and grab this filter function here by clicking on uh, cell D6 and selecting the entire filter with control C. And then over to H6, I'm going to just control V to paste it in. Now, instead of having this cell reference, you might think, ah, what if I just put it in as a string? I'm just going to hide this quickly. So if I go 23, 01, 2024, and hit tab, you can already see there's a red underline here. And there we have it, we have an error. So that's not going to work. Now, before we continue on, let me just remind you that I am from Australia and a lot of Commonwealth countries and other countries use our date with the day at the start, followed by the month and then the year. If you're from the Philippines, Canada, the US, of course, it is the day and the month are switched around, but you are smart cookies and capable of doing the mental rotation for this tutorial, I'm sure. Okay, so where were we? So why doesn't this work? Well, the way dates are stored in Google Sheets is through a positive number. So I can display this by using the value function here. So value. And then let's just select a date here. And you can see here that the date is actually represented as 45,314 for this date here. So what's this all about? So in Google Sheets and even Excel and OpenOffice, all dates are derived from the 30th of December, 1899. So let me just prove this point here. I can actually use the to underscore date function here and type in zero. And you can see that we've got the 30th of December, 1899 here. So this is the total amount of days since this particular date that this date has occurred on. So instead of building a string here, we need a, another function to help us along with creating this filter. And we can use the date function first for this one. So let's get cracking with that. So let's just copy this original here. So we'll hit Control C to copy. And then down in H10, let's uh, go back into our formula bar at the top here and Control V to paste. And now we're going to type in date. Let me just expand that. The date function takes three arguments. The first one is a year as a number, which is going to be 2024. And then we put a comma in, followed by the month, which is going to be one or oh one, it's up to you. And then the day, which is going to be 23. And then we need to close the brackets for that date. And let's hit tab now to see if this works in line. There you have it, it works in line. Now there's another way of handling this and that is with the date value function that you can see down here. So the date value function allows you to add in a date in a number of common date formats. So if you're using Google Sheets in the US, it'll be all switched around for you so you can use your month and day first. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm just gonna make a copy 
of this original function in this NA here. So I'm going to select uh, H6, go up to the formula bar, hit Control C to copy and tab out, then down to H19, back to the formula bar, Control V to paste. Cool. And all we need to do here is just type in the date value and then make sure we close the date value function as well and hit tab and then we're done. I kind of prefer this approach because then we can use a more intuitive date value here and it's easier for people to read and understand. Okay, so let's just close that for now so we can see what we're doing next. So the next task is to get a date before or after or before and after and equal to a particular date. Now we'll use a target cell for this first example to make things a bit easier for us to understand. So let's go filter again and grab our range. There's B2, A2 to B94. And hit comma and then our target cell range which is going to this B2 to B94. Okay, and this time we want everything less than this date. So we can use this less than operator here. Great way to remember less than and greater than. The less than operator is in the shape of an L on its side, uh, whereas the, the greater than doesn't make an L shape. So we want the less than 23rd of the first and close the brackets here cool done we can do the same with the date value so let's just go over to h19 again and grab this it's going to be easier so i'm going to select all in the formula cell hit Control c tab out of that head down to l25 back into the formula bar hit Control v and this time we can copy the one above we're saying left then or what if we want to include the date inside our formula as well? Well, we can say less than or equal to here to do that. And now you can see the 23rd of the first is now displayed. Now we can use the, we can change this to greater than or equal to as well. Hit tab. And you can see that things are, everything is greater than the 23rd or equal to it. Of course, we can remove the equal to to not include it. And indeed we can exclude the select date as well by using the less than then the uh, greater than operators and hitting tab and now you can see the entire list over here excluding the 23rd so 22nd here 24th here it's missing let's just put things back to the less than here for your reference sheet Cool. What about if we want to display our range between two dates? Let's just close that one for now. Okay, so we've got a cell reference up here. So let's just grab this item here in L6 and we'll grab this filter and we'll hit Control C, tab, back over to P6, back into the formula, Control V to paste. And all we need to do here, so we need to get this Dates between two dates. Now intuitively that generally includes the date. So we have to do greater than or equal to for this one and then less than or equal to for this one here. So let's just change this one, this up the top here, this first condition to greater than or equal to P4 and then comma. Now we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Let's just copy this previous condition and paste it in. And all we're changing here is we want this one to be less than or equal to Q4. And hit tab. So now we've got a date including the 23rd of the 1st all the way through to the 2nd of the 2nd here for this range. Now, of course, we can do the same for our date values here. So let's see how that works. We're going to go over to L25. Click on the formula bar, control A to select all, control C to copy, back to P39 and into the formula bar, control V to paste. And let's change this around. So we've got 23rd of the first is our first item. So we want that to be greater than or equal to. And then we can copy this with a bit of control C, put a comma in for our next condition and control V and we want this to be less than or equal to let's say the second of the second is it so we can say the second of February 2024 and we're done let's hit tab
Awesome, our range is sorted out here. Now you've probably noticed that the formulas are appearing here. I'm just doing that with a formula test function to uh, give you a good reference sheet if you're following along. In the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to filter time in Google Sheets. There are a couple of gotchas that uh, appear when using time. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell for when the next tutorial comes out. And if you've enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button. Until next time.